Hello, welcome to this new video about the Vijnana Bhairava Tantra. Today we will see two verses teaching a very important pointing out to pure awareness. Let's start. Verse 59, uh, 61, sorry, verse 61. Om Bhayor Bhavayor Gyane Dhyatva Madhyam Samashrayet Yoga Pachadvayam Chaktva Madhye Tattvam Prakashate So, Contemplating, looking, gazing, dhyatva, gazing, ubhayur bhavayur jnani, looking in that very awareness, in between two cognitions. Two cognitions simply means two thoughts. Two sensations, two perceptions, two mental pictures, two gestures, whatever. Between the previous thought and before the next thought happens, what is there? You point your attention to that moment in between the cognition the thought gone and the thought yet to come like the end of outbreath before the next inbreath has started. You gaze intently with full attention, full awareness between those two thoughts, those two cognitions. And you look in between those cognitions at that which is a cognition also. Gyani, but of an altogether different type. It is Madhyam, it is the center, the middle, the in between, the interval. Samashrayet, one should completely come to dwell in that cognition between two thoughts completely surrender samashrayit one should completely surrender to that space between two thoughts that pure awareness that center between two thoughts or two cognitions whatever they are between the moment one thought perception or gesture or action has stopped and the next has started. You could say between any gesture of attention, between two movements of the eyes, for example. Yuga Pacha Dvayam Chaktva and one should drop both the thoughts simultaneously all together all together not simultaneously because they are not simultaneous but all at once that is uh, all together without uh, grasping anything left so you don't uh, try to retain the past thought and you don't try to welcome 
or to uh, attract the next thought. You just leave them both and you give your whole attention, your whole being, if you will, you completely plunge into the awareness between them, in the center between them, and you drop them, you forget about them. You forget because you can forget. You can forget, you can exclude them. And this is called a vikalpa. So here we have a little bit of vikalpa. Exclusion, choice, choice. We choose to forget about thoughts, about the contents of awareness, and awareness turns upon herself completely and becomes just pure awareness, that is, awareness of awareness. Just like a lamp. A lamp shining upon everything, as if that lamp had the power to shine upon herself. But for that, it does not need to really do something, because while shining upon everything else, she shines as well, of course. Just the same, awareness is clear by herself, is self-clear, svaprakasha. She is her own light. And if she were not to shine, nothing would shine. And even nothingness would not shine. So, Yuga Pacha Dwayam Chaktwa Tatwam Being Reality Tatwam Being Reality Prakashati will shine, will shine Madhye in the middle between those two suits the one that has gone and the one that is yet to come. In between, there is that pure shining awareness, clear, radiant, and she is like the sun shining in between two clouds. So, you put your awareness there and you continue, like a, a bird, like a bird of prey, uh, going into the, flying into the, 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 the high sky, without even having to move his wings effortlessly, effortlessly gliding in the airs, in the currents of airs, gliding. So attention is, is gliding in the space of awareness, like effortlessly, as long as possible, like a Tibetan bowl, the long sustained sound, like Om like the end of outbreath. All those practices, again, share that one common principle. They're just different applications of the same principle, of the same gesture, movement, and you can put your attention on the beginning of that movement or on the end of that movement. That's all the practices all the pointers. So the commentary here does not tell us much more. 62. Om bhave nyakte niruddha chinna eva bhavantare vrajet Taratan Madhya Bhavena Vikasatiyati Bhavana. So the practice in that verse is the same as in the previous verse. It's a variation about the same practice. And this um, may be an evidence, this may be evidence that this text, which is not really a tantra anyway, um, is rather a, a collection 
of verses taken here and there from other traditions even and gathered in that in the form of that uh, tantra but maybe some time before it was not a tantra it was uh, presented in a different context but what is sure is that all the the stimonies who have uh, speak of that text uh, as being of that form and Kshem Maharaja who had studied with Abhinav Gupta uh, commented and we have that commentary that part of his commentary commented on the beginning of the of the text which is definitely a tantra so even at the time of Abhinav Gupta and Kshem Maharaja it was already a tantra so it had if it has any time been something else uh, there is no memory no trace of it but it is a very special tantra tantra uh, one of its kind because it is rather uh, a collection of single verses grouped uh, according to their topics and taken from various sources some of them are buddhists some of them are Vedanta, uh, like for example uh, Bhaskara. We have the, the, the verse about um, night and day. Uh, which is, seems to be taken from a text of the, the tradition of Bhaskara and it is quoted, I think, if I remember well, in a work by a disciple of um, Advaya Vajra, the Buddhist tantric master. Anyway, um, here we have the verse 62. So, Bhavi Nyakti, Bhavi Tyakti. So having dropped one state, that is again when one cognition, one thought has is gone, niruddha chit. Uh, attention should be stopped, should be blocked, prevented to go to another object. Because attention is like a monkey jumping from branch to branch, uh, from tree to tree. And here we have an interesting instance of cheat not being used in the sense of um, pure awareness or something like metaphysical uh, absolute awareness, consciousness, but as attention. And the commentator says, Chetana, attention, the, the action of being aware, of, of paying attention to, so attention, Niruddha Chin, attention being stopped just after it has left a state or an object, Naiva Bhavan Taram Vrajit, should not uh, go, attention, should not uh, go to another object to another state, to another phenomena, phenomenon. Tada, then, tanmadhyabhavena, through the phenomenon, literally, which is in the middle of the phenomenon that has uh, ended and the one that has not yet started because attention has been uh, prevented to go towards it, then, in between, again, the same, same words as in the previous verse, in between uh, bhavana, the realization, the realization, vikasati yati, ati vikasati, uh, expands, utter, utterly expands, completely, uh, excessively beyond all measures, expands.
So, here the commentary again does not, I think, adds very much. So he says that Nyakti Nyaktam would be in the sense of Brurita, which would mean Tirohita, hidden. So when one phenomena has stopped, uh, attention should not go to, to another phenomena. But that does not change the meaning. Because one would expect here Bhave Tyakti instead, instead of Bhave Nyakti. He tries also Bhave Vyakti. But this is something else. Anyway, and we're just looking how he uh, glosses about the prefix ati. But ati shayena, ati shayena, udghosham ayati, udghosham, uh, sorry. Udbodham Ayati. It awakens completely. Anyway, nothing much more to say. The practice in those two verses is crystal clear. When one thought has stopped, you don't go to another thought. When something, when, when attention has dropped, an object or when an object has gone out of attention out of the field of awareness attention awareness does not go to another object but just remains purely like that naked empty of any content that's all just remaining like the wide open sky because somehow uh, paying attention to things invite more things and paying attention to the space between things invite more space just like if I pay attention uh, deliberately consciously to the end of each of my out breath little by little the movements, the comings and goings of my breath will become more and more faint, more and more subtle. And the space between them, the pure awareness, the resting between them, will become more and more alive, as uh, I had said before. So it's always the same practice, always the same gesture, always the same principle. And then, once you've understood that, you can explore by yourself and find your own practices you can find that everything is a practice because everything in experience is a movement so everything is going away that's the good sign of anityatvam impermanence things are going away all the time instant after instant they are relaxing, they are getting freed into the silence of awareness, into silent awareness. So, that's all for today. Have a good day and see you next time.